okay, well, there's some symptoms there. I think that, you know, the most alarming to me would actually be the weight loss. Mm. And I think any unexplained weight loss definitely needs to be investigated by your doctor. There's quite a number of things that can cause that. It can be something very simple and straightforward, or it could be something more sinister. And it's really important your doctor investigates. The thing is, what can you do about it? Well, probably the cream you have is very good for it. Can, um, it can reduce the inflammation. The Sunday surgery doctor thinks it's still an awkward topic for families. Children just don't want to bring it up with their parents. And we get calls from people who are a little bit confused about sexual issues and they need clarification. I've also heard myths like it seems to be based around snacks and drinks because I've had, <laughs> I've had guys come in saying, well, I've used a crisp packet. What do you mean you've used a crisp packet? Instead of a condom. No. Yeah. Well, E. coli is a bacteria that lives in the guts of both humans and animals. And most of the time it lives there perfectly harmlessly, but it can be caught from things like uncooked meat and contaminated water and even animal poo. I see it quite a lot in my clinic that people come in and say, look, I'm coming for a sexual health screen, but actually you ask them some more questions and what really is the issue is they're finding difficulty to get enjoyment out of sex. Certainly the first stage is that if you've been with a partner for a long time, you need to talk to them about it. They may already know that there's some issue there yeah. in terms of achieving orgasms, but just be honest about it. Say, look, I'm not enjoying sex the way I think I should be. Um, I think it's something we can work through together. Using uh, strategies like we've seen over the last few months where we remove alcohol from young people and give them a sort of ticking off. But also we live in a society where we've got 24-hour drinking laws and uh, we've also got uh, massive sporting events which are sponsored by the alcohol industry. So there's a dichotomy there. I the think mixed that we messages. Absolutely. Yes, and young people get very confused by that.